project, Digital Transference, A New Horizons in History Teaching, is an educational experience launched by the Open University of Madrid, Ulima. It is a complex project that encompasses three main lines of action. First, a series of virtual lessons focused on topics in proto-history and ancient history. Second, a documentary series dealing with different aspects of prehistory and paleoanthropology. Third, a documentary series focused on the analysis of the most important aspects of ancient Egyptian civilization. Udima is developing an e-learning teaching system. Obviously, historical disciplines demand an important visual component, and this is the starting point of our project. The need to provide our classrooms with updated multimedia material. Thanks to the existence of our university of a media department with suitable technical and human resources, we could implement the initiatives that we are now presenting to you. The first steps of our audiovisual adventure were somewhat hesitant, since at the beginning there was no established strategy, but just lots of useful ideas emerging at the appropriate time and place. Although we plan to extend the thematic line, for the moment, we have three areas that could be considered as already consolidated. Archaeoodema is a series conceived in two formats, interviews and monographs. Its main aim is to spread news of archaeological topics with academic interest, paying special attention to pictorial representations. The tone is purely academic but easily understandable, and with a critical treatment that goes beyond that of a traditional lesson. The Aula Prehistorica Udima is an academic space that intends to spread knowledge of prehistory and to raise discussion platforms from which to understand the meaning of this phrase of human history. The topics to be addressed are all those that, for one reason or another, are attractive to anybody interested in that distant historical period. By this approach, and with the support of specialists and other scientific disciplines, we expect to generate a corpus of audiovisual material with rigorously scientific base, but at the same time presented in a way understandable to all kinds of public. The Espacio Aegyptos Udima may be seen as an introduction to ancient Egypt. Its objective is to provide a scientific and precise picture of the paraphonic civilization, away from the esoteric biases from which it is treated on in many occasions. The subjects to be developed are varied because, apart from general aspects such as language, society, religion, or architecture, specific areas such as astronomy, iconography, and the symbology of the royal image or the role of women in Egyptian society are to be approached as well. Up to now, a total of 16 documentaries have been recorded and released, which altogether constitute 7.6 hours of audiovisual material available to the public. Current societies constitute a globalized environment with a high demand for communication. Social sciences also need to participate in this constant communicative interaction. Nowadays, however, there is a gap between the scientific and academic contents available in the media in social sciences and those available in the area of experimental sciences. Therefore, the media productions of Udima try to be a space of convergence of the scientific academic scope and the interest of the general public by strengthening the pictorial dimension of the past. In other words, we demand a history twinned with image which will be more accessible to the academic world in particular and to society in general since they could be used in both educational environments and broader social context through different transmitting channels. The fact that the materials are produced by ourselves permits us to address in detail a number of aspects which are crucial for understanding the historical processes. Some examples. Chronocultural developments based on different types of timeline. Functional dissections of architectural spaces. Diachronic developments of different historical realities. Stylistic details of archaeological or artistic materials. This even allows us to move to the very scenarios of the historical facts under discussion, either through visual resources or through our physical presence. In short, our project aims at filling a gap which exists in the higher education system as well as in broader socio-cultural environments of Spain. With very few exceptions, not even the appearance of web pages, digital publications, and initiatives regarding historical, artistic, 
or your archaeological heritage have succeeded in creating instruments of sufficient academic scientific seriousness, which is why we believe that our proposal is not only feasible, but absolutely necessary.